on two former highly police officers who are expected to be getting out of jail soon, and that's after a judge granted them bond this afternoon. They are accused of beating a homeless man. CBS Force Anna McAllister spoke with one of their attorneys and joins us live with the latest developments. Anna. Naja, these former police officers were originally taken into custody on January 26th. They were fired from the Hialeah Police Department, and then they were initially not given bond. But tonight, one of the attorneys for these men says that today was a huge victory for his client. Now, prosecutors say that 27-year-old Rafael Otano and 22-year-old Lorenzo Orfila, they arrested a homeless man back in December. That man's name is Jose Ortega Gutierrez, and this is all after there was a disturbance at a Hialeah bakery. The state attorney's office claims that instead of taking Gutierrez to jail, the two former policemen took him to an isolated area and beat him. A Hialeah detective took the stand, saying that neither Orfila or Otano had their body cameras on after the initial arrest. But Otano's lawyer, Michael Pizzi, says officers not having body cameras on is not a crime and says the case lacks credibility. The fact that a judge heard the evidence for five days, heard everything, and said there's no, ev you know, there's no evidence against my client and, and let everybody go home, uh, I think that speaks volumes about the credibility of this case. A private investigator, Ali Saleh, who is charged with witness tampering in this case, was granted $10,000 bond and house arrest. Otano was also granted house arrest and $10,000 bond tonight. He's staying downtown at the Miami-Dade County Jail, but tomorrow morning he'll come back here to TGK to get his ankle monitor. monitor excuse me. As for Ophila, well, he is still here tonight at TGK on a $20,000 bond, and he will face a total lockdown house arrest. For now, reporting live in Northwest Miami-Dade, Anna McAllister, CBS 4 News Tonight.